once again, I'm with the stars of uh, the Aladdin Panto, which is the big panto in the new theatre, and I am with... Holly Blewett. And where are you from, Holly? <laughs> I'm from um, Barry, originally. Just Cardiff here. Oh, yeah, yeah um, I'm a Barry girl. Good. Um, yeah, now my family live up in Hangboy Pike, Philly. So, and I live in London, so it kind of doesn't fit in anywhere anymore. <laughs> we'll just say Cardiff for now. Yeah, just say Cardiff, that's easier. And what uh, role are you playing in uh, Aladdin? I play Princess Jasmine. Well, the most important role, so I would say. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Oh, I was going to say, obviously, Pantomime is, is traditionally a quick big Christmas thing, yeah. and obviously doing it in Cardiff means yeah, you're to, to go home oh, for yeah. Christmas. But is it tough working so much over the Christmas period? Um, for me, not really. Um, it's only like six weeks, so it goes really quick. You just keep going. It's like you never leave the theatre. Like we don't say hi and bye to each other because it feels like you never leave. Um, we only have like one day off a week, so um, it, it yeah, it just goes by really quickly and you're always having fun, you're always having a good time, um, every single day is different, every single show you do is different, um, there's always something added or someone's trying to be mischievous, so yeah, really, it's brilliant. I mean, it's something like 60 shows you do in a row. Yeah, 63 I think we did. I mean, that's, that's even physically quite tough, how do you... Yeah, it is, um, I just, I'm quite disciplined if I'm honest, like I don't, I don't really go out and drink. And I have said to myself this year, I must go out and have a bit more fun. Um, because I am very conscious about my voice. I don't want to, um, to lose it. I like, have a honey in my dressing room. And I just look after myself. Like, you've got to, you have got to look after yourself when you're doing something like this. You're thrown on stage to show today. Um, and you've just got to make sure that you cover well as well. So, yeah, you've got, you've got to just be sensible about it, really. I mean, obviously, with, with Aladdin, there is a script. Um, but with Panto being Panto, there's a lot of space for improvisation and sort of yes. audience interaction. Do you prepare for that in any way? Or Not just... really. I think everyone just kind of goes with the moment and how they're feeling as well. And we bounce off the audience. Um, when the audience get involved as much as we are, the show just evolves into, this, into another world, basically. Um, and, yeah, especially the comedy characters, they bring a lot of ad lib to it. They always try and trip you up. It's been last year I cursed quite a bit on stage, just like oh, sorry, quite a bit on stage, just like um just start laughing because it's never what are they doing is never been done. And it, yeah, they're just so funny. Sam's so funny as well on stage and him and Linda they they both, you know, bring their expertise pattern to to um pantomime itself. So yeah. So obviously Jasmine's quite, quite the, very much a straight character and everybody else kind of revolves around the comedy. Yes, Would yeah. you be interested in doing more of that kind of improvised comedy side of it? Or are you yeah, very definitely. Um, I think if I had the opportunity to do a character role or an, even an, an evil role, I definitely would take the opportunity to do it. Um, I love like going into different types of roles and learning about them maybe so, but I'm quite excited to be back as a princess, I suppose. <laughs> Being a princess is probably the best probably, position. Nice dress. Nice dresses, pretty yeah. dresses. <laughs> do you get to see the um, say on how the dresses are designed? Or no, not at all. They've been around for years. They're very traditional. And also it's awful, but... Threadbare. Obviously, they're, they're just the most amazing dresses because now everything's modernised. Everything, if you see a modern pattern, it's all kind of block colours. As if you feel a traditional it's very heavy. They're like curtain material. Right. Um, but they're just so oh, they're so beautiful. They're so beautifully made. No, I've got no saying like what I mean, you know, they, they know what works and um, yeah, just it's almost like a language in itself, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh yeah, and the costumes work. definitely add to the to experience, definitely. And they always look fabulous. And Linda's costume today is just stunning.